This is a video for a Honda CRV 2.2 executive diesel, uh, registered YH56MKL. Uh, car you see here is now just turned over 70,000 miles. It was in 69 when we bought the car. Uh, we have been using it a little bit to be fair. Uh, car is finished in grey, comes with a full black leather interior. Uh, really, really lovely car. Well, I'll go around it for you now. Um, so on the front here, lenses are all absolutely spot on. Um, Apologise if it's raining today, so it's not, not ideal for this, but I can hardly see a stone chip on the bonnet. It's really, really clean. Uh, headlamp washers are all there and good. Again, lenses, fog and front fog lights and the headlamp are in top condition there. Offside front wing, completely unmarked. Bridgestone tyre on the front here is absolutely like new and the alloy is without a mark or any curving on it at all. Coming down the flanks of the car, it's all very, very crisp indeed. It's obviously going to be the odd, very light little mark, but if I come in close here, I've got a couple of tiny little ones here, but they'll just polish off. They're not scratched otherwise. Um, and just come back here and drop down. You just see just how crisp the side of the car is. It's very, very clean indeed. Um, if I can pick out one thing, I'd just see a touchy little car parking dink there. I mean, it's only very, very small. Um, but you know, if someone wants to do something about it, they could. Uh, rear Bridgestone tyre again as with the other one, absolutely superb, again good sign of good ownership. Alloy, absolutely superb condition, the only mark on this one I can see is a ticky little one just there. But realistically, very very good indeed. Coming around the back of the car, the wheel covers all good and intact. We've got a single electric tow bar being fitted to the car, very good quality one as well. All in all, the paintwork is very, very good indeed. And near side of the car again, just drop down here. Very, very crisp and clean. And obviously it's got matching Bridgestones all around in this car. So they're all, I mean, it looks like they've very recently been fitted as well. Uh, alloy on this back, completely unmarked, not a mark, no corrosion anywhere. And the final one here, all the panel works incredibly clean. It's hardly anything to report to be honest with you. And again, final alloy, very clean. This one's just got a tiny bit more curbing, uh, just on the extremes. And one spoke there has got a little mark. So just a tiny little bit down there. I saw some, oh, there we are, just a tiny bit there as well. But externally, um, given the fact we're looking at cars nearly 10 years old, looking at car in absolutely fabulous condition. So coming to the back of the car now, absolutely enormous boot area on the car. Um, you can see the parcel shelves all there, good and intact. All the plastics are in really, really fine order. Some of these can get quite beaten about with people who kind of put sort of, you know, go to the tip or otherwise, but realistically, this one's been kept very, very well indeed. Even the back of the seats are in top condition there. So the rear seats are there, you can see, just do it from a different angle. Um, really, really lovely condition, full black leather interior, and it's been kept very, very well indeed. So just to show you the rear leg room as well, absolutely enormous amount of space. Just to show you as well, these rear seats underneath here, there's a bar, you can pull that up, you can pull the seats forward and back as you would do with a front seat to extend the boot area. And on the back here, you can adjust the angle of these seats just by pulling a little tab there as well. So we're just coming to the front of the car now. The rain's starting to come down a bit heavier, unfortunately, but really, really fabulous. And driver's seat, all in really good order but it is in fantastic order in here. Sat in the car now, engine running, dashboard is in wonderful condition. This video was actually done after the following road test video where we didn't have a sat-nav disc. Just to show you, sat-nav works absolutely perfectly. I managed to find a disc and it works absolutely spot on. But really is fabulous order. There's no warning lights on the car. That's just the seat belt and the um, handbrake there. Just showing, but engine's all running. But really is fantastic car, fantastic condition. Right, this is the road test video for a Honda CRV 2.2 executive diesel. Car's registered YH56MKL. Uh, mileage at the start of this brief road test is 70,267 miles. I'm just gonna, sorry, I'm just gonna pull this um, trade plate out of the way because it's vibrating and I want it to get background noise there. Um, basically the reason for the test drive is just to give reassurance to those who are going to be coming a fair distance to us um, 
we've got customers now coming from all over the near continent and the extremes of the UK to buy cars from us. And we just feel it's right. So if you're going to come and see the car, then you can, you'll can you know before you get here whether the car drives okay or whether there's any issues with it, which I can let you know about. Uh, what I try and do is to basically do the same as you'll do when you come and drive the car and just go through them in the, in the, you know, a, a similar order to yourself. I always start with the, obviously the mechanicals, so engine on the car. So we've got the 2.2 diesel engine. This is the CTDI engine. Uh, this particular example is only it's a relatively low mileage. So the engine is still, is very, very sweet revving. There's no strange resonances, noises, vibrations, rattles, smoke, nothing like that. It pulls like an absolute train in any gear. It starts on the button, settles to a very even idle, no fluctuations there at all. Uh, look at the dashboard now, no warning lights on, on the vehicle in any way, shape or form, you know, relating to the engine or anything other for that matter. So in terms of the engine, you know, you know, you have driven very low mileage ones and this is as good as any I've ever driven. So, you know, it's, it's not lost a, a single horse from under its, you know, out of its horsepower. Uh, engine then drives through clutch and gearbox. Clutch on the car is absolutely spot on. It bites brilliantly. It's exactly the right point on the travel, on the brake, on the, on the pedal travel there, or the clutch. Uh, the clutch itself actuates with, there's no squeaks or clicks from the clutch pedal itself. So, you know, clutch wise, absolutely spot on. When I dip the clutch in and out, just to let you know that there's no change in engine note on the car. There's no vibrations coming back through the vehicle either. The gearbox on the car, typical Honda fare. It's a six speed gearbox on the manuals. Brilliant gearbox. Very, very easy to use. It's just a this wonderful weight about it. It's got a brilliant synchromesh. Every gear engages absolutely perfectly. There's no notchiness to it. Um, the you know the whole feel is one of you know the Honda do the best gearboxes by a country mile in, in my opinion. You know they're not you know, across the, their entire range. They rarely come up with a bad gear change. And this is a wonderful example of one. I cannot detect even the slightest wear in the gear lever or the you know the, the actuation of the, the the gears itself. It's it's it really is a very very fine fattle. So mechanically, you know, I, 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 I genuinely cannot fault the car in that sense. Brakes on the car, rock solid. Brake pedals right towards the top of the pedal. Um, again, Honda do a you know, very nice braking system. They don't over servo them, yeah, which you know some French manufacturers are notorious for. But what you've got is a very solid brake pedal. There's no vibrations when you hit it hard, so, which suggests that the uh, discs and pads are all in very fine order underneath. Steering on the car, tracks bullet straight. Um, there's, again, there's no vibrations on the steering, even at the motorway speeds when I came up the motorway just then. Again, which you know, suggests that, you know, uh, you know what, I'm, what I'm looking for with the, the steering and you know, the suspension in a second is what I call the, the, kind of the little aftershocks that you sometimes, whoops, there goes a tray plate. Um, the way you can just detect where in the system through the steering or the suspension, where there might be a little bit of, you know, chatter coming back up through the uh, suspension itself or, the, or through the steering where there might be a little bit of you know, wear in some of the joints. But the, the reality is uh, I cannot feel through the steering or the suspension of the car a any feeling of any wear of any notes underneath the car. It's in really, really top condition. The On these uh, CRVs, they obviously are four-wheel drive cars but Honda worked out very quickly that the vast majority of people apart from the you know farmers and goodness knows what else you know the army perhaps you know those that you know drive this type of car generally speaking they'll only use the four-wheel drive on on rare occasions you know if you're towing on a sort of wet pitch for the caravan or something like that or going across a muddy field for school fate or you know then 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 you you know may, may need it the majority of the time or 99% of the time you don't need it. Now, this car, as I'm running it now, does it all automatically for you. It will just run in two-wheel drive, front-wheel drive. Exactly the same as any normal car. Only if 
the front wheels start to spin, the car will sense it and it'll automatically engage the rear wheels for four wheel drive. It's a brilliant, brilliant system, utterly, utterly bomb proof. I've never touched one on hundreds if not thousands of these things that we've sold over the years with you know, this, this four wheel drive system. It uh, you know, really is a cracking system and it, what it means is, unlike a lot of permanent four wheel drive cars, there's, you know, you, you, you're suffering less suffering less mechanical wear you know, they're far 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 kinder on tyres than any you know conventional four wheel drive system and you've also got a you know you, the, the, the fuel economy is, is dramatically better because again it's just not trying to turn the wheels over and over and over um, so you know and it all works seamlessly it's just it's a brilliant system it, you don't engage it, it just says it does it all for you so coming on to the rest of the car looking around the dashboard I mean it's in really lovely order in here you know it's you know everything I've pressed thus far has worked absolutely perfectly I've got the air conditioning on even though it doesn't really need it today just to show it's got well, you can't see but it's got freezing cold air coming out and in here, I've got lovely cold air blowing into this cool box. So on, on the summer, or in the summer rather, if you ever get one, um, you know you can keep sandwiches and chocolates. You know, if you know, free from sort of melting inside the car. So it's really a really nice system, actually. Um, I've had the heated seats on; they all work absolutely perfectly. Electric sunroof and the windows all again absolutely spot on. Everything works with a, that lovely kind of oily precision and you know just a really high quality feel to every button you press on these Hondas they, they, they really do a fantastic job of it uh, worth pointing out we when we bought the car um, it didn't come with a sat nav disc uh, there's two reasons for that normally speaking the radio CD all works absolutely perfectly so it doesn't affect that at all but this is quite, quite an old generation uh, sat nav on these cars and to be honest with you, they were pretty much out of date before they were launched. Uh, so it may well be you could get a disc for the car. It may work in the system. We don't know. We haven't tried it. We haven't got a disc for this this age car. But you know, if it does work, that's fine. But we make no suggestion that the sat nav does work in the car. The, the reason being, this is a sat nav system that works on a disc that's age related to the car. Unfortunately, that means if you want to update your maps, you have to buy a disc from Honda with well over £100 uh, or you have to get one off eBay sort of a you know, pirate copy or something which people now do unfortunately and you know they, they can corrupt the, the, the sat navs very easily indeed. The fact is most people's iPhones or you know phones that they have you know Blackberries or Blueberries or what they call the damn things um, you know, operate a much better sat nav system anyway and they automatically update their maps so it's it's become obsolete very quickly but i said you know if you if you find a disc and it works that's absolutely great but you know it's it's not it really isn't worth messing around with but i said the radio just to show you all works absolutely perfectly so but you know in essence the car drives absolutely brilliantly you know there's there's nothing on the car if you came to drive the car that you'd find issue with in terms of the, you know, the drive of the vehicle it's as tight as any i've driven even with you know we've had some very very low mileage ones uh, i mean this is low for its year but you know it, it really does drive absolutely fantastically um obviously if, if we've missed anything on the test drive or in the text of the advert then you know apologize but you know, please do phone us and we'll be we'll be happy to answer any questions you may have on the vehicle